session PE01519 by John F. Robbins on behalf of uh, Save Our Seals Fund. Petition calls on the Scottish Parliament to urge the Scottish Government to stop issuing licences permitting salmon farming, salmon netting, and salmon angling interests to shoot and kill seals in Scottish waters and instead require the salmon farmers either move their farms into onshore tank systems or legally require marine salmon farmers to install and maintain the high strength, high tension predator exclusion nets they require to meet their legal obligations under the Animal Health and Welfare Scotland Act 2006 to protect their stock from the attention of predators. We further ask that the Scottish Parliament ask the Scottish Government to legislate um, to close down all salmon netting stations in Scottish waters, thus allowing tens of thousands of Atlantic salmon and sea trout to return to their native rivers to breed. This is a catch-all discussion about not just seals by the looks of it. So I refer members to the paper and I invite comments from members on the petition and uh, seek some agreement about the way forward. Who wants to kick off? Uh, I'm, I'm happy to make a comment, um, Convino. Uh, members will recall that we gave some considerable consideration to this question during our consideration of the Agriculture Scotland Bill. Um, and uh, I think we all came to the conclusion then that we were basically content while, while, while accepting that there are concerns um, over this issue. But I think that my, my recollection is that we were uh, content with what we heard that the steps being taken by sorry, <coughs> agriculture practitioners were um, as, as robust and, and practical as they could be, um, and that the shooting of seals was only used in, um, in, in extremists. Um, I, I was personally quite satisfied by that, uh, and I'm not sure that continuation of this petition from our point of view um, will do anything, anything to resolve the situation, um, and I, I really can't see any future in us continuing this petition, given, the, given what our considerations during the agriculture bill. Okay. Um, other people want to speak? One, two, three. Uh, Graham Day first. Uh, thank you. Yeah, very briefly, I just I would concur entirely with um, Ali Ferguson on this. I, I read the evidence that the petitioner gave to the petitions committee. That didn't in any way um, away my concerns about the petition. Um, there was a number of claims made that seemed to be unsubstantiated about the number of of uh, seals that are being uh, shot, um, so I, I would tend to agree with Mr. Ferguson. Thank you, Angus McDonald. Yes, thanks, Tim. Um, I think, given that there are a number of uh, strands of the petition um, which have been, I, I would reckon, uh, properly addressed, I'd be minded to close the petition. Um, I think uh, Marine Scotland has adequately or satisfactorily. Uh, address the issue of, of seal control. Um, the salmon industry is evolving. Uh, we're seeing the introduction of increased use of high tension predator exclusion nets, and we're also seeing the introduction and rolling out of onshore tank systems, uh, as the committee saw when, uh, when we visited uh, Lochaba. Um, and clearly, that's another aspect of the petition, which has a number of strands to it. Uh, the only issue in the petition uh, which hasn't been satisfactorily addressed uh, are the salmon netting stations. Um, however, that's work that the committee still has to do uh, to, to, to look at following the uh, Wild Fisheries Review uh, report. Um, so, given that a fair bit of work's already been done on the issues that are raised in the petition, um, I would be minded to, to close. Okay. Mike Russell. does everything I think possible to avoid the killing of seals and is the law being flouted or not observed in any significant way and I don't think the petitioner has presented any evidence that that is the case. If he has any evidence then he should not only present it to the, to, to the parliament but to the police because it's an offence so to do. The second question is should the law be changed? Is there a further change required to protect seals and that's a legitimate campaign but it's not the campaign he seems to be pursuing. He seems to be pursuing a campaign based on the law being flouted. Now, if there's no evidence the law is being flouted, he has brought no evidence forward to the law being flouted, then I, I think the petition just has to close. But we should bear in mind uh, whether or not the law is being flouted and whether or not a better law can be found as we continue with our work. Anyone else who wants to comment? Uh, Claudia Beamish. Yeah, uh, thank you, convener. 
Um, I'm, I'm persuaded by the arguments that have been put forward by others that the, this um, petition should be closed. And I would just highlight that we are going to look at the Wild Fisheries Review and that the Aquaculture Bill has regulations, but also that those can be amended as appropriate by ministers. So um, I don't see anything that um, would argue that this petition should be kept open. Thank you for that. And if I'm summing up the views of members, I think that we know that the National Marine Plan has